Welcome to today's video. I'll be reading a short text by Werner Erhardt. Um, his ontology and his studies really led to my transformation, and I just really want to share this text, so listen up. What's So by Werner Erhardt. What's So is always just what's so. What's so doesn't care what you think, feel, intend, or wish. It will not bend. You can be freaked out or driven by what's so, but it won't change what's so. If you're late for an appointment, getting freaked out won't have you arrive any earlier. If you're having a bad day, being freaked out won't change what's so. That which you seek will not bring you satisfaction. Aligning with what's so will. When you're upset, you're never upset over what's so. What's so is just what's so, and you're upset. If your house burns down and you get upset, does it bring your house back? What's so doesn't care if you're upset. It's up to you how you handle what's so. There's no confusion in what's so. When you don't know, you just don't know. There is no confusion there. There's nothing right or wrong about what's so. What's so is always open to different interpretations. There's always just what's so, and then you have an interpretation. What scares you isn't what's so, it's your interpretation. The interpretation is never true. What's so is real, the interpretation is not. Who you're being is just who you're being. And what's so doesn't care if you're happy with it or not, so why should you? When you're not being with what's so, that's also just what's so. Why should you concern yourself? Other people should always be the way they're being. And if you think they shouldn't, that's your interpretation. Bring yourself back to what's so about them. Until you can be with what's so, you can't be with anything or anyone. You may have control over other people's what's so, but not their interpretation. Give that up. If you take action or not, it's still just what's so. If it works out well or not, it's still just what's so. You can never make a right or wrong decision or take a right or wrong action. Whatever you will do will always bring you just more of what's so, and then you have an interpretation about it. Whatever you don't have, so what? Whatever you've done or thought in the past, again, so what? Whatever happens in the future is not to be feared. It's just going to be more of what's so. The challenge is to spend as much time in what's so as you can. The chatter in your head is more interpretation and it has nothing to do with what's so. There's nothing wrong with the chatter. It's just you listening to a fantasy. The thought that there is something wrong is an illusion. There is nothing wrong. There's only just what's so. Notice when you're comparing what's so to some fantasy of how it should be. Bring yourself back to what's so and it will be okay. Ask yourself what's so and align with that. Align with what's so and it will not matter. That is the foundation of transformation and satisfaction. Not aligning with what's so is the only thing that will ever bring you hardship or suffering. Life in what's so will bring you harmony, grace, and balance. Ask yourself, what's so about your situation? Well, I'd love to hear the answer in the comments. And if you like growth and personal development like me, let me know. I want to make more content like this and start this conversation about transformation a lot more. So that's it for today. Subscribe and let me know what you thought in the comments. Bye.